A special thank you from the heart. Hey, it's your local fish keeper Sabrina. Thank you so, so, so very much for all of your love and support. We finally reached a thousand subscribers and it all still seems so surreal to me. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for inspiring and motivating us to make more videos. I really want to include you guys in today's video, so what better way than to do a Q&A? So I've asked you guys on Instagram, Instagram at just be fishy, for some cues for me to ace. But before that, let's do a quick update on last week's video. Kiwi's and Orion's tank is not cycled yet at the time this clip is being filmed, but currently it is at its final stage of cycle. So expect Kiwi's and Orion's moving video sometime in the near future. Also, as Hiwi and Orion are moving, I've decided to rearrange the rocks in Artemis and Ness's tank, as Artemis particularly really loves sleeping in little caves. For some reason, the new rock structure really reminds me of the very hungry caterpillar and I can't unsee it. Okay, enough of that. Let's get to the Q&As while the puffers dine. Our first question of the day is by Mior Adam 360 Who's Aqua? Aqua is an aquarist that loves everything fish keeping, aquascapes and aquariums, and she is Bee Fish's official mascot. Aqua has appeared in our latest videos, but you'll be seeing her more in Bee Fish's new series coming soon, so stay tuned. She's also an original character designed by an artist on Instagram, Instagram at Young Soria Art. I'll put her link in the description box below, so do check her out. Speak of the devil, next question is by Young Soria Art. She asks, ever got bitten by a puffer fish? I think she meant as in a bite, not actually getting beaten by a puffer fish because honestly, that would be scary. Well, so far I've never got bitten by any of my puffer fish. They're actually more scared of you than you think. I do stick my hand in the tank when I work on my aquariums and most of the time they would just swim away from my hands. Except for Artemis. Sometimes she hangs around my arm to see what I'm doing. But that is of course only speaking on behalf of my experience. At the end of the day, puffers are still predators. If your puffers love to bite, feed them first prior to sticking your hand in the tank, just to be safe. Next question is by Anonymous, do you do collabs? Yes, we are open to collabs, so if you do wish to collab with us, just drop us an email or message us on Instagram and we'll figure something out together. How many tanks do you have? At the moment this video is being filmed, 10 tanks. What are your hobbies besides aquarium? Well, I love to read and collect aquarium related books as well as play video games. On to the next question. Can you make a video on your book collections? Not gonna lie, that's actually a really great idea. I've been posting some of my book collections on Instagram recently and a lot of you have been asking me about them. I'm very delighted and more than thrilled to talk about them, so I'll put that down in my idea list for now. Ridwan Mohali asks, are you planning to add more tanks? Not at the moment, no, but don't quote me on that because I'm still recovering from MTS multiple tank syndrome. And 
now for a quick intermission. The puffers are getting cockles as the Ramsuan snails are not enough for the big puffers. Anonymous asks, will you do more care guides? Thank you very much for this question. I think some of you realized that I haven't been doing care guide videos for the past couple of months. That is because I actually had a bit of a dilemma. I don't particularly like to highlight negative things or messages that I received behind the scenes, but there are a few things that I feel like I need to address. Please note that I don't mind troll comments, constructive criticisms and such as everyone's entitled to their own opinions and honestly, I love learning from you guys. However, last year, I had an encounter with a person who is very passionate and adamant about doing things their way fish keeping wise, which honestly I have no problems with. As long as it works for you and your fish is healthy, there's really no issue. But <laughs> this person, they were particularly adamant about wanting me to stop posting care guide videos and when I asked why, well, I'm guessing they don't like that question because they started spouting racist slurs, comments, calling girls and women stupid, and meat threats, which we do not tolerate here on Be Fishy. I'm not going to go deeper than that because honestly, they don't deserve the time of day. But fortunately, that's taken care of. I will be doing more care guide videos in the future and I really want to do more puffer care guides. Also a quick note, even though I make sure to do as much research as possible for BeFishy's care guides, please do take any information you receive online or offline with a grain of salt. And please also do your own research. Next question, how many puffers do you have? Uh, currently, I have 7 species, so they're pea puffers, green spotted puffers, figure 8 puffer, topaz puffer, saba puffer, Potato Puffer and Pao SP Chow Praya. Fish Keeping Made Easy asks, How many more puffer species do you want to keep and are there any you don't like? Oh god, I have at least 10 species I can think of at the top of my head. Of course, I like to keep more but as I said earlier, I'm recovering from MTS. If I don't have the appropriate housing for them, I will pass for now. As for puffers I dislike, um, no, I don't have any. However, when it comes to keeping them, the least likely would be the Takifuku genus. What's your favorite plant? My favorite plant changes every month and this month it's Hygrophila pinatifida. I love how versatile they are. Hisidore asks, is it possible to keep kois and carps in an aquarium? Personally, I would keep them in pond setups. I do know that some people keep them in aquariums for a certain duration temporarily during winter times and that is totally fine. But for me, unless I have an aquarium of hundreds and thousands of gallons, I will not place them in one. They produce a lot of waste and they grow huge. Goldie Singh Aqua Gold asks, What is your biggest achievement in this hobby? Easy, <laughs> I meet so many good friends and I won't treat them for the world. Anonymous asks, what do you use to film and edit? I use the Samsung NX500 to film. To record my voice for the longest time, I used the mic on my headset and I actually wrapped a filter floss around it to minimize the pop sound. And hey, it kinda works. <laughs> but now I'm using a blue snowball and as for editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. And for our very last question, Hizzy asks, what is Be Fishy's direction onwards? That's a really good question. A few things are still under wraps, but we are currently working on producing quality and better content for this channel. That is all for today. Thank you very much for your questions and thank you very very much for all of your love and support. We really 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 do appreciate every single one of you. We'll do our best to improve our channel. Please like and subscribe if you like to see more content and especially please do leave a comment down below as we love hearing your thoughts and reading your comments. Until then, see you next time!